I do a typical interview with department directors. But this time I have Mr. Elliot Davis who will be conducting an interview of me. So happy to uh, have you be able to, uh, to be a part of this, uh, this interview. Mr. So what's your reaction to citizen complaints about the construction project? You know, I think that uh, we certainly recognize uh, the frustration that uh, many of our residents had uh, with the Avenir development and the use of Kingdom um, for construction traffic. Uh, I believe that uh, we needed to provide clarity uh, regarding the use of Kingdale, uh, and we believe that we've done that. We amended the building permit uh, to be more clear uh, as far as what we believe restricted use of Kingdale and, and other uh, streets in that area actually meant. Uh, and so, you know, we have to strike a balance uh, between the use of, or the developer's use of their property that they own for the best possible purpose and the infringement that that has on the community. And so we think that we've done a good job in making that balance. You think residents had some legitimate complaints? Certainly. Uh, I believe that, uh, that there was a clarity regarding the use of Kingdale. And I believe that in the amended uh, permit that we provided that clarification. Switching gears, flooding. Uh, FEMA awarding what U City three million dollars or more than three million dollars? Three point two million dollars. And that's going to allow you guys to uh, what buy out three apartment complexes? Why that? Let me step back and, and let me first state that you know we are so grateful uh, that we were able uh, to be selected as one of four cities uh, that received uh, funding as a result of the five. Uh, partisan infrastructure bill. Uh, very happy that uh, that we were selected, and we did receive 3.2 million dollars uh, for that purpose, all federal funding. Uh, the half and quarter apartments, which is what we received the money to buy out, is frequently flooded, uh, and so we had made application uh, with SEMA and FEMA uh, to buy out. Uh, that uh, that apartment complex. Our main goal with all of this is to leverage our limited funds uh, that we have, uh, and so and so what we do is try to work with, partner with, whether it's SEMA or FEMA, whether it's the Metropolitan Super District, uh, so that we can leverage our limited dollars. But well, let me let me one more thing. Okay. Uh, we want to certainly express my appreciation. Uh, to Congresswoman Bush, who's been a real champion uh, for our city and trying to help us address the severe flooding that typically occurs here in University City that drastically impacts our residents. So what about like the residents along Wilson? Do you have the funding to, for that buyout? We've made an application, uh, again, with uh, SEMA and FEMA, a different pot of money yeah. for that. That application is still going uh, through the process at the federal level. Uh, we hope to get some response from them uh, pretty soon. That uh, hasn't but, been approved. That is a uh, that, process that we don't control. That has not like an application. That money has not been approved yet. No, it has not. So the money for the citizens hadn't been approved, but money for some apartment buildings have. How does that work out? That's a question for the federal government uh, and the state government. You know, from our perspective, we simply see the uh, the pots of money that are out there. We make application and we have to follow uh, their guidelines and their rules. Uh, we don't determine as the city, you know, which one gets funded first. We want them both to be funded and, and we're very happy. I don't want this to, to be misconstrued. We're very happy uh, that the federal government did fund our, our buyout of half. Who made, the, who made the decision to fund the apartment buildings as opposed to funding the residences? Because you've had obviously a lot of people and homeowners who've been struggling and they're waiting and it's been just a terrible time. They're not getting funded. The apartments are. Who made that decision to fund the apartment buildings? Well, let me just state it's not an either or. 
uh, they're not mutually exclusive, that we went after funding for both uh, in roughly around the same time uh, for both. It just so happens that this funding source was available. Uh, the federal government uh, selected us one of four uh, jurisdictions. Uh, and so, yeah, we're very pleased. We certainly hope that they uh, work with us and, and end up funding uh, the other properties that, uh, that we're seeking to buy out. So are you saying that the, the, those homes on Wilson that you want to buy out, the city obviously, they may not get bought out? That's a process that we're going through. We've, met, we've done everything that we can. We've made application uh, for the buyout. We've indicated our intention to uh, provide some funding that's required. It's 25% match. Mm -hmm. uh, the mayor and council have identified the uh, funding source. Uh, and and sure, you know, uh, is there a possibility? Uh, there is always a possibility that you're not going to get uh, federal funding. But we have no reason to believe at this point that we won't be funded. If you're not, what happens to those residents on Wilson if they turn you down? Yeah, the feds. The, the mayor and council decided to take a leadership role uh, in trying to address the severe flooding that impacts University City. Uh, and so in doing so, the first project, as you know, was a detention basin. Project. Right, but I'm asking specifically well, about let the me homes this. Let me on Wilson. I, I'm going to get to that. I'm gonna what get happens to that. if you don't get the federal money for buyout? I'm going to certainly get to that. But let me let me put this in context. Uh, so the mayor and council took a leadership role. It's not something that they were required to do. There's no nothing in our charter that says you have responsibility uh, for stormwater runoff. Now, I think there is a regional agency that does have that responsibility. But the first project uh, was the Detention Basin Project, which not only helps that group along Wilson, uh, it helps a vast majority of the residents that frequently flood those on Vernon, as you know, as well. Uh, and so we are going to continue to pursue the Detention Basin Project to get funded even if the federal government decides not to award us the money uh, for the buyout program on Wilson. What happens to those homeowners if that federal money doesn't come through for buyout? Certainly, we believe that the detention basin project is going to benefit all of us. We're talking about in terms of a buyout. What happens to them if those federal funds don't come through? If the federal funding doesn't come through, then they will still benefit from the detention basin project that will be constructed. But uh, they won't get a buyout. But they will not get a buyout uh, at this time. Uh, so our intention is to help as many people as possible. Uh, and we believe that the best way of doing that is twofold. Uh, one is to make sure that we move forward with the detention basin project, which we intend to do. Uh, and secondly, to try and leverage our funds so that we can buy out uh, homes uh, that are most frequently flooded. Uh, we wanted to buy out the entire 300 homes uh, that, uh, that were flooded. We were told that basically that was unreasonable to believe that, that we were going to be able to do that. And so what we, number so did we, they give you? So we pared ours down. And what to, to what? The homes that are on Wilson, which is about 14 homes, I believe. Okay. Uh, and so we're still pursuing that. Uh, at this point, it looks very favorable uh, that uh, we will get that funding. Uh, but until we get the, the official uh, word from FEMA or SEMA, uh, there's no way that we can say, yes, they're going to definitely get funding. Gregory, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you for being here with me. Uh, today, certainly, I want to make sure that we keep our residents uh, fully informed about the activities in University City. Thank after, you. after all, you paid for it. <laughs>